We keep seeing this being presented to us as a fact, saying that global warming is being caused uh, by human activity and that 97 percent of all the scientists and, uh, believe that global warming is caused by, that there is global warming is caused by human activity. Uh, when I'm looking at where they get their information, and if you look very closely at this, you find out that, it, that an invitation was sent out to 10,000 Earth scientists, uh, less than a third responded, and of those, uh, uh, the pool was narrowed down, and this turns out to be 97 percent of 77 scientists who were selected. Uh, uh, and we've even heard this figure repeated here in, in, our, in this chamber and in our debates. Now, let me just ask you out, do you believe that 97 percent of the scientists uh, believe that global warming is a product of human behavior? I wouldn't put a lot of stock in a particular number to two significant figures. I believe that the vast majority of scientists who are actively working in the domain of climate science uh, take it as uh, the established consensus view right. that global warming is real, it is happening, it is caused in substantial part by human activities, so you agree and it is already doing harm. Right, but you agree that this is a bogus figure. No, I wouldn't say it's a bogus figure. I would just say that there are considerable uncertainties around an exact figure. But the fact is, for example, why, that the National you, why, Academies, why, why, if I may I'm finish. I'm you a direct question. Why, why can't anybody admit that you've got a group of people uh, with a, putting out a bogus figure here? Th this was published in a peer-reviewed article. It was based on generally accepted social science practices for doing polling where you never get a complete response. I'm not going to defend 97 percent as accurate to the two significant figures it provides, okay, but I good. would remind you okay, that serious? every National Academy of Sciences okay. in the world, including all of the National Academies of the G8 plus 5, or yes. what is now the G7 plus 5, yes. have agreed and issued a joint statement that climate change is real, largely caused by humans, dangerous, and, and we need to take action. And does the Russian it. Academy of Scientists agree with that? Yes. Then why did the head of the Russian Academy of Scientists tell me just the opposite? I have no idea right. about a conversation right. that you might have had with the, with the president of the academy. Well, they signed the statement. I can right. provide it to you for the record. Okay, well, let me just Happy to that, do so. Let me note for the record that, he, that I had a meeting with a large number of the scientists in Russia and uh, the head of the Academy of Scientists said just the opposite to me. Uh, let me ask this about this. Do you believe that um, tornadoes and hurricanes today are more ferocious and more frequent than they were in the past? There is no evidence uh, relating to tornadoes, uh, none at all, and uh, I don't know of any spokesman for the administration who has said otherwise. Uh, with respect to hurricanes, there is some evidence of an increase in the North Atlantic, although not in other parts of the world. With respect to droughts uh, and floods, which were mentioned in an earlier statement, there is quite strong evidence that in some region they are being some regions right. they are being uh, enhanced, if you will, right. by climate change, not caused by climate change, but influenced by climate well, I, change. Well, I note all of the, and we, I'm, I don't want to be sound majority, but there weasel words to what we I used to call in when I was a journalist that in some areas globally it's there's not more droughts globally there's not more hurricanes and they're not more ferocious is that correct if you want to take a global average the fact is a warmer world is getting wetter there's more evaporation, so there's more precipitation. So on a global average, there is unlikely to be more droughts. The question is whether drought-prone regions are suffering increased intensity and duration of droughts, and the answer there is yes. So we actually have more water and more drought. Okay, thank you very much. Absolutely. <laughs>